What's up guys, Chris here from Media Hat Gaming, and I haven't played anything on YouTube in forever. So, let me just sort this out. So I figured I'd play High Hell, which is a game that I've been roughly having a bit of a go with over the last couple of weeks, and I've just figured out a new recording system. So, please let me know what you think. I've been trying, I was trying to make a vlog about um, life in YouTube and stuff earlier. Yeah! Uh, but I couldn't seem to... You know, get it out just looking at the camera. I, th I felt a bit too, like, awkward because I've done it for a while. Uh, so I figured I would... Oh, baby. So I figured I'd play a game while I did it. Now, I know there's a guy, like, there. Ah! Oh! So I figured I'd um, play a game while I was speaking. So life has been its usual shitty self. I know you can pop all the beer cans. Uh, uh. Particles, particles everywhere. So yeah, life's been its usual like weird self. Like depression's been kicking in again after after not being around for quite a while, which is quite nice. But now, uh, oh, what's my objective? What am I here for? Kill stretch. I'm gonna take that back. Don't know why, but I can do. Hup, hup. Hip. Nope, that's not gonna work. Come on. Nah, I'm just gonna go the normal way. Uh, yeah, so I've been like shutting myself away a bit more, finding ah, finding it a bit hard to socialise and stuff. So I thought a good way to kick myself back into it, get out of it, would be to play a couple of games um, just to get myself talking again, to like practice my social skills. Just get out of it, you fuck. Uh, practice my social skills again, I guess, to a certain extent. So the way I used to do, I just pressed reload. Don't know why. The way I used to do my YouTube and stuff was I was trying to, like, emulate. But I didn't have money. I felt like I was trying to, like, <laughs> stretch! I felt like I was trying to, like, emulate certain YouTubers and stuff. Oh, that wasn't the end of the, end of the mission. Um, trying to, like, do all of the, the shouting and the screaming and everything like that. And I kind of realized that that's not, that's not me. Like, yes, I do do a bit of shouting and screaming as much as everybody else, but... I don't want to, like, over... What can I do here? Oh, a penguin! Oh, hello, penguin. I don't want to, like, overplay it. Because, you know, it's not who I... How did that fucking beer keg just fit out of there? Because it's not who I am and it's not how I want to do it, so... And I was concentrating on, like, views and comments and stuff way too much. Like, I was putting way too much, like, pressure on myself to become... You know, to get all of that stuff really quickly. And it kind of took a lot of enjoyment out of the whole, like, YouTube thing. So, I figured what I'm going to do now is, because I've found out a new way to record, where I'm actually... Fuck you! I'm actually playing the game at 4K using NVIDIA Shadowplay, which is having absolutely no impact to my my system whatsoever. Um, I figured I would just kind of do it how I want to do it. Can I destroy this or do I have to burn it? So I play, just play the games how I want to play them, like chill out, do not not worry too much about the the amount of time I'm recording for, not try and stick to the usual, you know, like 10 minute formula. Um, I just kind of play until I got bored, really, because I can always cut it down into different episodes. And the whole, oh yes, it's got to be done. Oh my! <laughs> So yeah, so that's pretty much what I was trying to say while I was, um, Jesus, trying to do the vlog, but I couldn't get it out, so. It's it's strange how talking in front of a camera can be different when you're actually, like, doing something and shit. So anyway, so yeah, social skills have gone absolutely, absolutely through the floor recently with the whole like depression thing going on. So I found it really difficult to communicate with anybody, even if, even just like Charlie and stuff. Those of you who don't know, Charlie is my fiance. Um, so over the new year, I kind of, I didn't want to do like a massive New Year's resolution. Fuck you! A massive New Year's revolution resolution thing so instead what I'm doing is I'm just trying to trying to just be a bit happier like accept the way things are 
um, accept where my head's at in certain periods of my life and certain times and stuff and just kind of go from there. The issue is, with the depression, oh no, is that it's not like a fixed state, you know? I can be completely amazing and up one minute and then the next minute I'm completely down, I'm irritable, I'm, you know, really hard to be around. Which is really difficult for Charlie and I guess really difficult for other people as well because, like, it's a struggle with loneliness as well because you feel really lonely, you feel you're really alone. Um, and so you start to analyse every social interaction you have in a different way. Um, and as you analyse every social interaction you have, you realise, you know, well that didn't work out, I wonder why, or oh, that didn't work out, I wonder why. And then you kind of, whoa, shit. And then you start thinking of things that are like, like what's the common denominator here? Why, why didn't that social interaction work the way I thought it should? Um, and you start to come to the only conclusion you can that, you know, you're the problem. So, once you've got into that kind of way of thinking, me personally, <laughs> fuck you, uh, me personally, I just kind of shut myself away from any social interaction because it's easier. I don't have to worry about me being the problem. I don't have to worry about, you know, everybody hating me and thinking that I'm a massive dickhead and everything. And I don't have to worry about me saying the wrong thing as well because I'm not around people. The issue you have then is that, oh, a monkey, is that yes, you now don't have to worry about social interaction and stuff, but the loneliness gets even worse. Ah, you piece of shit. The loneliness gets even worse because, oh, because then as people, you know, because, you know, you do, you really, there's friends that you have um, and they'll invite you places, and because you're in that state where you're like, no, I'm, I'm terrible at interacting socially, I'm not going to go out, I'm just going to shut myself away. Whoa! Ha! Um, then, then you don't get invited out as much. So it's a massively, like, perpetuating cycle. Um, and you're the only thing moving in it. Nothing else is moving, it's just you. Whoa! See ya. So I haven't really ever been this open about my depression. Ever really, I don't think. Oh! Um, because there's just, you know, it's difficult to talk about. Nobody wants to openly admit they're broken in a certain way. Especially like, to the world. Ooh, headshot! Um, so it's pretty hard to talk about. I mean, I've been going to therapy. Ha! Ah! Shit. Oh! Crap on a crutch. I've been going to therapy for it. Uh, over the last... I don't know. Couple of... Couple of months, really. It's like six months-ish. And I was on antidepressants as well. It's, it's a really weird mix. Playing this, like, proper uppity-up game. And talking about depression at the same time. Um... But it's also kind of freeing. So I was on medication as well. I was on citalopram for quite. Whoa! Fuck you. Ha! I was on citalopram for quite a while, on and off, for about a year and a half. Um, but I'm now trying to deal with it without the medication because the medication's good. Uh, it gives you. It doesn't make you happy. It doesn't make you happier. But what it does is it gives you the. Sp you. Red-faced piece of shit. But what it does do is it gives you the space in your own head to deal with, like, depression and mental health and stuff. It doesn't work for everybody. Some people get really, like, annoyed by it because it does, like, eh, kind of slow you down a bit as well. Oh, my God. It does kind of slow you down a bit as well, and there are, like, downsides to using it. Uh, your weight will fluctuate, your uh, enjoyment of things might differ because you, know, you get to the point where you don't really enjoy anything. You just use things as a way to escape from not feeling like crap. So for example, video games for me, I enjoyed them a lot when I was a child, but the older I got and the more depressed I got and everything, the more I would just 
I wouldn't really enjoy the games I was playing. I would just use them as an escape from the things that I disliked and I didn't want to do. Um. Oh, ha. Ah. oh no, I missed. Oh, flubbed it. Flubbed it all. Uh, where the fuck am I going now? Ooh. See, if I was actually thinking about this, I'd probably be a lot better at it. Um, yeah, so where was I? Medication. Yeah, so I was on the medication for a while, and now I'm off the medication. Uh, and it is good because, you know, you you stop feeling when you're on the medication. Kyo! So you actually stop having any kind of emotions whatsoever. You don't feel happy, you don't feel sad, you don't feel up, you don't feel down. You just kind of, you are there. You exist. And the way that I like to describe it when I was talking about it was like, there would be me here, and then there'd be a layer of like bubble wrap on top. And the bubble wrap would stop any of the emotions coming through and actually hitting me. Oh my. I will create a monkey army! Ah. Uh, yeah, so it would stop any of the emotions actually hitting me. Oh, this mission's gonna be a shit head. I can feel it. Howdy, boys! Oh my god, he's got killer monkeys. Ah! What do I need to hit? Oh! Ah, oh, this isn't doing anything. Oh, I see. <laughs> Did it first try? Uh, where was I? Bubble wrap. Yeah. So it would feel a lot like you were kind of wrapped in a case of bubble wrap, um, and you sort you start to lose motivation with uh, everything around you, whether it's to do with fitness, like I used to go to the gym loads. Um, oh my, the amount of lighters that are getting chucked out here. <laughs> this is fantastic. So I used to go to the gym loads, uh, and I do loads of martial arts and stuff as well. And then as I, the more depressed I started to get, destroy the boss busts. The more depressed I got, the less I wanted to do all these things. And then obviously my weight changed, which made me feel worse. So the way you look at me now, like a, a fat bastard with a beard playing video games, is not how I was... <laughs> Isn't how I was uh, like five years ago. Even three years ago, like I was, I was kind of getting back into fitness, doing a bit more, going rock climbing every day, and now I'm just a f f fat tub of shit, basically. Um. No, I didn't want this to be like, uh, you know, when YouTubers fucking sit down and go, look, guys, we need to talk about depression. Because, I mean, fucking, it's kind of condescending a little bit because it's like, hey, man. Yeah, it's great that you're making awareness for the. Well, I guess condescending isn't really the right word. But I guess it's a little bit more like, you know, you as someone who earns fucking like $85,000 every day from just putting up a YouTube video is then talking about things where people have done some serious shit. I don't know, I just don't feel like it's... It's like when a, when a celebrity talks about how we should all pay our taxes, you know? When people who actively avoid paying as much tax as they can by filtering it through different offshore companies and stuff tell you as a, an average Joe working, you know... 40 hours a week that you need to pay your taxes it's a little bit like hey man come on you don't you can't really put yourself in in the same situation as as me but you know that can, a lot of that can be said for life in general where people can't really put themselves in other people's situations the worst thing what are you doing dog the worst thing is when they make it about themselves like, I know there's controversy at the moment about someone doing something stupid on YouTube and making something serious about them but, you know, I don't really want to talk about that because that's not... I'm not an expert in it. I haven't looked into it anywhere near enough. And sometimes, you know, you just want to 
play some fucking games. So I figured this is a good game. Because it occupies my hands and it occupies my head. So it allows my mouth to just do all the talking. Which I don't really do too much of. Uh, coming up to like 15 minutes here. So I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to make this episode. But, you know, it's, it's been really nice chatting. And if anybody, you know, if anybody by all means has anything that they want to input. Then, you know, hit me up with a message. Um, let me know. You know who you are, where you are. You know I can give you my email address because it, you know it's it is good to talk about this kind of thing, and I I have gone through it, and I am going through it at the moment, so I know I know what it's about. Like I've done, I was a volunteer counsellor for two years prior to me actually starting to suffer with depression. Which <laughs> let the bodies hit the flow. Let the bodies hit the flow. Let the bodies hit the flow. Uh, so yeah, so I know what I'm, I know what I'm talking about when it comes. Oh my god! So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to it. Like, don't get me wrong, everybody's experience with it is completely like 150% different. Oh, hello! Is 150% different. So nobody has all the answers and nobody can put themselves into anyone else's headspace. But you know, there are there are ways out of it. I've come out of it a couple of times. I've fallen back into it a couple of times. Like, once you've got it once, it's easier to get it again. It's easier to feel like shit again once you felt like shit once. Because, you know, you understand the emotion. And, and any emotional state is easier to have once you've had it once already. Happiness is easier to... It's easier to know you're happy if you've been happy before. So on and so on. Ooh! 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 Yeah. But, you know, in regards to the YouTube thing, like, it's been hard to actually do any of it because I haven't been motivated to... Fuck you! Because I haven't actually been motivated to do anything. So now I'm trying to be a bit more, like, motivated with the new year and everything. And today, today is actually my birthday. So I wanted to do something, like... <laughs> in his pants. So I'm going to do something a bit more, like, special and shit. Oh, health pack! And I figured, why not, like, make a video and... Do something I haven't done for ages, but I really love to do. So, here I am. Now then. Fuck off. I'm not sure if that fucker was wearing a party hat. Right. Side objective. That's one. All clear. That's two. Uh, that looks like that's going to be where he actually is. So, let's see if there's any other... Where's Arund? Man, I have fucked up all the doors in this place. So where my head is at at the moment is I felt really lonely. What with... Uh, what with, like, feeling like I don't have any friends and that people hate me and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and what I was just saying about, you know, you feel like crap, so you don't go out anywhere because you don't want to. And then it gets even worse because no one invites you anywhere, which is a completely understandable thing to do. You know, it's, it's, it's going to happen. You just gotta. You gotta. There's two things you can do from from my perspective. Ooh. Oh, hey, dogs! Fucking okay, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, so there's a couple of things you can do, or a couple of things that I do that help me out, which is you know give yourself some time, like give yourself some space. It's not easy to feel like shit all the time and it's even worse when you're actively trying to go out and change the way you feel but you know maybe sometimes what oh! take this sausage meat but sometimes you know give yourself that space give yourself that time that gap to feel like crap um and hopefully shit shit hopefully eventually Whoa! Hopefully, eventually, you'll kind of come out of it on your own, or you'll get the motivation to start doing stuff. The other thing I can suggest for you to do is if you feel like you've given yourself some time and you feel like it's not changing anything, just fucking open the door and walk outside. Now, I know that it can be incredibly difficult, and sometimes it can even be physically painful if you don't want to go outside to, like, actually get your shoes on and walk outside, but there is nothing better you can do. Go on a hike. Like... I live in the Peak District, 
whenever I feel down, I go for a hike. It's just so much better to get yourself away from, ah, get out of it, dog. To get yourself out and get yourself into nature. Turn off Facebook, man. Like, that's one of the things that I've done, is I don't have any more Facebook notifications coming through to my phone. Jake, come on, bro. And I also don't um, go on Facebook to have a look because me looking at everyone else's life does two things. First of all, it makes me feel shit about my life. Even though my life's, you know, pretty damn good. And the second thing it does, it actually makes me resent other people for having, for like being able to do these things and having this cool stuff. So, you know, don't, if you look at Facebook, don't be angry. <laughs> it's hard. If you're going to Facebook and looking at the cool shit that everyone else is doing, you can't be angry at them for, for showing it. But at the same time, if you don't want to see it, there's there's only one thing you can do. Whoa! <laughs> oh, come on, roll over! Roll over! Roll over! Where are you? Where are you gone? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I don't know if I'm going to have to blur that out. That is amazing. Uh, yeah. So, you know... Don't look at Facebook, is uh, the moral of that story. Anyway, I think that's about all the time I have left. So, like I said, if you do have these issues and you do need someone to talk to and you feel like you can't talk to anybody else, then by all means, hit me up, leave a comment, or um, I can like write down an email address or something for people to, to go onto. Or better yet, there's a website that I use, that I used to work on, uh, that helped people going through these situations. It was all online. Uh, it was all like um, anonymous, so you didn't even have to put in an email address to sign up. You could just click on an anonymous sign up. It would sign you as a guest. And then you talk to somebody who's gone through training to be able to deal with or just kind of listen to the problems that you might have. So anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to hit me up, leave a comment. Um, and if you liked it, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much. <laughs>